Hembree is outlining his re-election campaign with an official announcement made earlier this week. Political reporter Julia Richardson shares his strategy in a one-on-one -on -one interview. Senator Greg Hembree has big plans for his hopeful re-election, hitting every topic from education to crime. Despite these big aspirations, Hembree tells me his most important goal is to continue representing you in office. My main reason is because I love the area. Number two, I figured out how to help the area. Um, and and I you know, had a good success, you know, some success doing it along with working with others. Hembree is coming off of a big 2023, during which he spearheaded our state's education committee. He claims he's still got work left to do in that department and wants to grow and tinker the Read to Succeed program that helps keep South Carolina kids on track in the classroom. Nobody's being held back because they're not reading on grade level. It's, they're just not being, it's not being implemented with integrity across the state. So this is going to tighten up the requirements on that and it will, it will sort of force the local districts to, to um, you know, either hold them back or get him up to grade level. He's also working to crack down on violent crime across the state and is reportedly working on a new bill that could prevent would-be criminals from picking up guns. It increases the penalties on, um, on people that possess unlawfully. So the, the penalties on that in South Carolina right now are very weak. I also asked Hembree about the long debated idea of bringing Interstate 73 to the Grand Strand. Although the funding isn't in the governor's budget for 2024, Hembree says he thinks it will happen at the right time. Do I think it's dead? Absolutely not. The permits are there, the right of way has been purchased, engineering's ready. It's just a matter of flipping the switch and digging, you know, fire up the bulldozers, but you gotta have money to do that. Among Hembree's top concerns is Horry County's rapid and recent growth. He says he's working on some ideas to put more responsibility on local governments, but can't do much himself at the state level. Land use is a local issue controlled by the county and by the cities. And um, I mean, if the public is upset about it, they need to, they really, really, really need to call their, their city and county officials. When I brought up the recent cross burning just outside of Conway, Henry called it, quote, despicable. He says he's all in favor of a statewide hate crime bill that would impose harsher punishments against those convicted. My feelings on it have changed. I'll tell you that I started out former prosecutor. I don't think the, the law would add anything to what existing law. I mean, assault is a hate crime. You know, if I punch you in the face, I'm not doing it because I like you. Um, so uh, I always thought they were just kind of nothing bills, but I also recognize sometimes you do things that are symbolic. Hembree will have to defend his seat from his own Republican Party members in June ahead of a general election in November. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.